All right, so I wanted to talk a little bit about the, the slurry versus seal coat. When is it applicable? When is it not applicable? So we have a property here that was actually slurried uh, about a year ago. It was, it was applied with slur road slurry. So different than seal coat, thicker, it's gonna have more aggregate. Uh, designed for roadways though, and here's, here's why, here's what happens after a little bit of time. When you look at the asphalt, which I'll have you look down, you can see the old asphalt. Let me get my shadow out of the way. You can get my, you can see the old asphalt and the cracks. And you can see the new old that's been applied with the road slurry. You can already see the, crack, the cracks running through. So now you're typically gonna spend about 25 to 30 cents a square foot for road slurry. So keep that in mind when seal coat is about seven to 10 cents a square foot. So you're getting, you're still gonna get the cracks that run through. And actually on top of that, two other things are gonna happen when you use the road slurry. You're gonna see all these scuff marks. Now this is typical even in seal coat. However, with seal coat, they'll wear away. With, with road slurry, it doesn't necessarily wear away. And this actually starts to peel up the road slurry so you lose a lot of the product. And then lastly, uh, the aesthetic appearance. It's really rocky. Unless you clean it, have a sweeper come by, which they're supposed to do, this will be rocky for the life of the product. It's just gonna continue to come out. It's gonna continue to take a mess. It makes your property look terrible. Uh, it's, if you notice too, it's also really gray. But I'm gonna show you another sample of a seal coat property that we did the same weekend, just down the street. And it's a lot more black. You can still see the cracks. You can, it's, it actually delivers you a very similar product without all the rockiness and for about the third of the price. So let's go down the street and I'll show you that one, right? So here's the seal coat property that we actually oversaw and completed last summer. So the, the slurry, the road slurry project that we just looked at and this one were completed around the same time. And if you take a look, just want to point out a few differences. First thing you'll notice is the color color much more aesthetically bring I wanted to be fair uh, I picked out an area that did have some some deterioration some alligatoring in it so you will see the cracks aren't filled in as well uh, it's not as rocky if you look around the property there's not any loose aggregate uh, the color holds well uh, you're not gonna get quite the, the coverage that you would with road slurry uh, but again if you're looking at from a from management cost per square foot this which is gonna be about seven to 10 cents a square foot, or road slurry, which is gonna be 25 to 30 cents a square foot. Mm -hmm. you're, you're, I think, and a lot of my clients agree that this is a more aesthetically appealing, less per square foot. And in this type of a facility where we've got trucks and heavy traffic coming in and out all the time, this is a better product. It's gonna, it's gonna be better for what your, your needs are. It's gonna last almost just as long uh, because in three to five years when you come back again, there's not going to be a huge difference between the road slurry and the seal coat uh, Other than in the meantime, you're gonna have less rockiness. It's gonna look better uh, and, and the, life, the life is gonna be about the same So road slurry or seal coat, let's you take your pick. Let me know what you think